Good day everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I am going to share my experience of staying in a very natural and beautiful campsite called Boranup Campsite. There are a lot of national parks in Australia and most of them have their own campgrounds. Boranup Campsite is one of them and it is situated in the southwestern corner of Australia. On our way to Albany, we camped and stayed there overnight. I'm going to show you that beautiful campsite and what did we do during the camping in this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to watch more videos like this. Now, without any further delay, let's get into this video. In the last video, you would have watched the Busselton Jetty, the longest jetty in the southern hemisphere and the two around the underwater observatory. After visiting there, we headed towards Albany, but on our way, our car was broken down. Anyway, we rented another car and resumed our journey. We reached the camping site in the evening around 6. There were nearly 7 to 8 camping lots and we decided to camp in the camping lot number 1. At the entrance of the camping site, there were some notice boards and instructions provided for the people who camped there. People staying in that camping site should pay a camping fee and it was mentioned that the camping fees is $11 per adult per night and the rates for different kind of people were mentioned in a notice board over there. As I explained before, this is a very natural camping site which is located in the middle of a national park called as Liuvi Naturalist National Park. We paid up front before we camped there and kept the receipt safe in case if any rangers come to inspect us. As it was summer season in Australia and this campsite is situated in a national park full of dense trees and plants, campfire was banned there. Australia is very common for bushfires and there is a huge risk of bushfire if the campfire was not done properly. It could be very easily spreadable and highly dangerous for human and wildlife. In the boards in the camping ground, it was also mentioned about the precautions and how to exit when there is a bushfire. After parking our vehicle and paid our fees, I went for a walk around the campsite while other boys were setting up the camp. There were also few other people stayed next to us in the other camping lots. I would say the camping lots were very clean and beautiful. The grass, shrubs and plants were removed in the camping lots, making easy for vehicle access and camping and every camping lot was surrounded by green plants and tall trees, making you feel like you are camping in the wild. You can experience the feel of nature, animals and bird sounds and it was very nice feeling to stay in a place like that away from busy city and heavy traffic. There was only one common toilet in that camping site. It was very clean and tidy. I would say that camping site is being maintained very well 
and should appreciate the effort of the people working for that. After the two around the campsite, I came back to our camping lot and we finished setting up our tents. We set up two different tents with inflatable air mattress in them. Once we finished setting up our camp, the next thing we focused was preparing our dinner for that night. We decided to cook some rice and Sri Lankan style spicy chicken curry and started preparing and cooking our dinner. We were staying in the middle of nowhere and couldn't expect a perfect dinner. So we managed to cook something we knew and it did turn up well. After some time, we had our dinner and ready to go to bed after a long, tiring and exhausting day. I also wrap up this video here and in the next videos coming in our channel, you can expect travel vlogs from some of the interesting parts of Southern Western Australia. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in another beautiful video. Until then, thanks for watching and cheers.